Good morning guys. So I am 16 weeks and four days pregnant and it is a Tuesday morning. Um, I've got a client in like 45 minutes but I'm hungry now so I'm going to eat now. Um, I am hungriest in the morning at the moment whilst being pregnant. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you what I eat in a day um, being four months pregnant and uh, yeah, this is completely just like off the hook. I know that I did a food trip yesterday, so now I've got food in, which is good. Um, but I just, I know this is a video that I've wanted to do. And um, I think some people will be quite interested anyway, because I'm obviously a PT and qualified nutritionist. So, without further ado, let's just get into it. I'm going to show you what I'm going to have for breakfast. So, breakfast is pretty simple. I'm going to have protein porridge oats. So I've got some, just some normal standard oats in here. I've got Women's Best Salted Caramel Whey Protein. I've got the Collagen Peptides, which I'm gonna put just a, like a spoonful of that in. I've got some protein creme to put on the top, and then some blueberries. And that is literally it. And I'm gonna mix this all with um, unsweetened almond milk, or just normal milk if I've got it. I'm just making sure that, you know, I'm getting good calcium in at the moment as well. So, that is gonna be my breakfast. Now, the trick with protein oats is that you want to add in your protein powder um, at the end because you might notice if you heat up in the microwave or if you do your protein powder and your oats in the pan, it will go like all lumpy and clumpy and it will just not have a nice consistency. Whereas if you add in your protein, at the end so I'm just going to add like a scoopful if you add the protein in at the end it creates a really nice consistency Right, I've just finished outside with my client. I am now going to go to my midwife appointment. So, literally chuck my trainers on and go to my midwife appointment. Um, just thought I'd let you know that obviously with every meal I'm pretty much drinking lots of water. I've drank a pint of water already this morning, just during my client, and then I'm also just drinking this peach still flavored water which I just get from Aldi. Um, Cause obviously I'm trying to not drink any pop. I'm not drinking any caffeine. I'm not drinking anything other than water really and like still things like this. So when it's got a bit of flavor in it, this and some squash or whatever, it's good for me. But yeah, gonna go to my midwife appointment now. It's my second one, it's just for my checkup. And then hopefully in a week or so, I'll get my date of the 20 week scan. Yay. All right, check up with you in a bit. Hello, right, okay, so it is now half past 12 and I'm absolutely starving. Um, I think it's been about four hours since I had my breakfast, so I've literally just got out a, I've got a cinnamon raisin bagel, which I'm gonna have with some blackberry jam, blue, sorry, black currant jam, and just some butter. This is gonna be my pre-workout meal before the gym, and then, once I'm home, I'm gonna cook something proper and have something proper. But yeah, this is just for me to get in some carbs and some sugars um, from the jam to, yeah, supply for my workout. So yeah, I'm literally just gonna eat this up, get to the gym. Pre-workout, I've got one with jam on and then one with just butter because who doesn't love a buttery bagel? Mm. 
you know what was so funny as well? It's like before I was pregnant, I would much prefer to go to the gym on an empty stomach. And um, I would never normally go at this time of the day anyway. I'd normally go straight in the clock, straight away in the morning, but I have clients now most mornings from early. Um, but I would never go at like half 12, well, it'd be one o'clock by the time I go during the day. But I'd always like to go on empty stomach. But since being pregnant, oh my God, I think I would absolutely faint <laughs> if I went to the gym without eating. I'm just gonna show you what my belly looks like actually. So, yeah, four months. We are showing nicely. Everyone's like, oh my God, you're so big so early. I'm like, yes, I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna eat this bagel now, get to the gym. I'm gonna focus on upper body today um, and then finish with some less cardio and some stretching. Shall I take you with me? I might actually. Gym done. I'm sweaty. I don't know if you can even see. 
but that is gym done. That was good. It's about an hour and a half. Upper body just messing around trying to make sure that I use the machines because I've missed machines over COVID, over lockdown. Um, and then just a nice walk to finish up. And it's seriously six o'clock, guys. Hi guys, so it is now half past three and I'm really, really hungry. I've just got home and I've just done some work in the office. Um, and then we had someone come round to um, glue down our carpet from where we had a new wall built in. But anyway, I've just decided on what I'm gonna have for dinner. And what we're gonna have for dinner tonight is like this chicken Mexican bowl that I absolutely love doing. I don't have any salsa, but I'm gonna make some fresh guacamole. I'm gonna fry some chicken, do a nice salad, put some halloumi on there. So I know that my dinner is predominantly fats. So I'm gonna have another carb meal now. <laughs> Um, I would probably have gone for a wrap, but I know Liam's taking them to work. So I'm having a tuna sandwich, nice and simple. So I'm just gonna have two slices of this super seeded loaf. And then I'm literally just gonna mix it with some, well, put some tuna. I'm gonna mix the tuna and mayo together. I've got some spring onions, which I'm gonna mix in there as well. A little bit of cheese, which I'm gonna put on the top and some spinach and that's actually gonna be my lunch late lunch i'll probably have some crisps on the side but i also did want to say even though i am a coach and i'm a qualified nutritionist doesn't mean that i eat really really healthy like i can probably guarantee that before i was pregnant i would definitely have never had a sandwich so i probably would have had like some chicken and rice or tuna and rice and veg something like that I'm starving, I wanna eat, and I want some cheese. So <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm gonna have um, tuna, cheese, and spinach in a sandwich. And if I want to have some crisps, I will. Um, I am being a bit more generous to myself that I'm, a bit, that I'm pregnant, so yeah. So I wanna make this now and eat, cause I'm starving. <laughs> going to add some of these lentil chips on tomato and basil and there ladies and gentlemen you have my lunch hello guys so it is now quarter past seven and Liam's not long got home from the gym I've washed my hair hence my lovely hairstyle didn't think this day through at all um, but yeah so I'm now going to start making dinner and I know this is Liam's favourite, he loves this meal, so. I'm gonna chop up some celery, cucumber, spring onions, we've got some olives here, we've got lettuce, Liam, likes, Liam loves iceberg lettuce. Got some chicken, which I'm gonna chop up and fry, and then we've got some peppers and some tomatoes for the salad, and then I'm also going to make guacamole from the avocados, and then we're gonna fry some halloumi in there, so. Yeah, let's get going.
So this is the end result. We've got lots of guac. We've got halloumi, some sweet corn, chicken, and salad. Mm, mm, mm. Gonna enjoy this now. Okay guys, so that is it. Um, as you can probably see, I haven't really snacked today. And if I do snack, I'll snack usually on um, fruit. Or like a woman's best cookie or something. But other than that, I haven't really been snacking. I've just been having my meals. Um, but my appetite's definitely changed since I've been pregnant. Would you say it's changed, babe? Yeah, you always think you're hungry and you're not. Yeah. <laughs> so I get more food to eat, which is great. Yeah. Liam always finishes off my food. Liam's just having a shake before bed, which smells very peanut buttery. But yeah, that's it. So not every day is the same, obviously. Yes, tomorrow might be completely different. Yesterday was probably completely different. Um, like yesterday for breakfast, I had... I'm talking! Yesterday for breakfast, I had eggs instead of oats. Anyway, that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one.